Woo-hoo. Hey guys. <laughs> All right. Just, it says it will start soon. Is it recording? Yep. Okay. We're Your recording. camera quality would drop to two forty. Five. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Five. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um. All right. Here we go. Uh, hello. Welcome to the Phoenix Podcast. I'm Brandon McDavid. I'm Tiffany Pfeiffer. And I'm Santa Gouch. Today, we're going to tell you about ourselves and then maybe even give you some of our thoughts on the simulation theory. Stay tuned for the end because we'll be, get, we'll be telling you all about our posting plans. Yeah, buddy. Sam. All right. <laughs> about us. I'll ask a question, you guys will answer, and I'll go last. What career do you want to pursue? All right, I guess I'll answer first for this one. So right. I really want to become a veterinarian. So All right. lots of college. Thank God I'm going to early college. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, so I don't really know a specific career, but I really like math and science, so I'm thinking about being a biochemist. Okay. Uh, me, aerospace engineer. Oh, Woo-hoo. yeah. <laughs> All right, personality traits. This is good. This is a good one. All right, Tiffany, personality traits. Hit them. Oh, me go. Okay, I'll go first for this one, too, I guess. Um, My brother says I'm very witty. <laughs> I don't know what. To... I'm very hyper sometimes. You hyper. guys probably noticed that. <laughs> 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 I'm a nerd. Is that a personality yeah. trait? I think it is. I'll accept it. Nerd, nerd's the new cool these days, man. Yeah. It's true. Because no one knows what they're doing. <laughs> Savannah, all right, you go. All right. Um. So I kind of like, I don't know. I think I speak my mind pretty often. So that's that's one thing, I guess. Um, <laughs> especially in class, you know. Uh, if you're wrong, you're wrong. And I'll tell you. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, I would also, like, I guess I would call myself a nerd. Um, you are a nerd. nerd. <laughs> but uh, being a nerd isn't a bad thing. And yeah. me saying I'm a nerd, nerd. I don't find that a bad spirit. thing. Because we're very, we look at perspective, perspective of, we, we look at our perspective and look at other perspectives of things. And we like Harry Potter. All right, Brandon, you're here. <laughs> yes, yeah, Harry Potter. Um, I, I, I don't really think of myself a lot, so probably one one good thing that would describe me would be, uh, what's that word for, like, dedicated? I think it's, like, dedicated. It's, <laughs> it's one of those, when I want to do something, I'll do it, and no I have to be you. physically incom- incapacitated or whatever that word is. In, in test. Oh, I'm kind of the like, same way. Like, you can't tell can't, me I can't do something. Yeah. And that's, you know, growing up, that was a hard thing for my parents to, you know, you can't do this. And I was like, bet. And I'll do it. <laughs> so yeah. that was, you know, growing up, that, that didn't help. But now it helps. We're getting good grades and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. All right. What pets do you have? This is a great okay. Q&A. So I guess I will go first. I have four dogs. It seems like a lot, but if I explain my dogs, <laughs> I have three older dogs are around. One's like uh, about eight. Another one's nine and the other one's like close to 10. And then we got a puppy. So okay. that should make a lot more sense. I have a cat, fish. Oh, yeah. and my you have a ton of like and I say a ton of koi fish. I mean, a fifty, like a like a huge tank full of koi fish. <laughs> yes, <laughs> a zoo at your house. Of it is. With fish, <laughs> which we do have fish. Freaking Tiger King over here with the, every animal in existence. Oh, I have chicks now too. I'll be oh. getting chicks. Those baby chickens. Yep, they look like zombie voodoo chickens right now. <laughs> So then you know, kinda, like when they're half fuzz, animals. half feather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of weird looking. <laughs> <laughs> they're zombie voodoo chickens. <laughs> All, right, uh, All right, so I have a dog named Stone, and he is about eight years old. Um, and then I have a cat named Charlotte, 
and uh, she is like 18, 19 years old. So, and won't go away. So it's lovely. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're you overdoing me now. I didn't say the names of my animals. Oh, oh um, but yeah, I used to have like a lot of dogs, like five, because we used to foster, but not anymore. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. horrible. <laughs> not anymore. Oh, I, used to, I used to have a fish not named Fred. Not a problem anymore. I used to right. have a fish named Fred. Nickname Freddy. He was a goldfish. He died. Then I got a beta fish, and his name is Frederick. And uh, he also is dead. That's so, so grim. It oh, seems yeah. like anything named Fred dies. I know, right? I wish my name was Fred. <laughs> 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 um, all right. So me, I got I got one dog, an annoying little Dachshund. That's all I got to say. Mm. Annoying little Dachshund. His name is Buddy, but you don't act like it. <laughs> uh, plants. Now, Savannah, you, I think you wrote this. So you, uh, you, yeah, you read yeah. this. All right. So I really like plants, by the way. And uh, so, yeah, I have a nice collection of four. Um, currently, I have a philandra, um, and it's doing amazing. I would show you, but they're getting plenty of sun right now, so we shouldn't disturb. I have a peppermint plant. That's my most recent um, addition. I have a money tree also known as the lucky bamboo plant. They're supposed to like bring you good fortune and luck. Uh, I don't really believe that. I just think they look cool. <laughs> and then I have a really common uh, snake plant. That's what they're called. Um, and it's super tiny. It's really cute. Yeah. And I mean, like I've grown like vegetables and stuff like that. I don't currently have any. I just have peppermint. It's my only edible plant currently. So aren't all plants edible? Technically, but they're not all meant to be eaten. Like, if you wanted to That's gnaw on my snake plant for a while, it would take you hours because it's a thick plant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, Tiffany, you got plants? <laughs> all right, I don't have any plants that I take care of, but there are a lot of trees around my house, like dogwood <laughs> trees, magnolia trees. Yeah, the the trees, trees. smell like fish right now. Oh, let me, Dead decaying fish. You guys know those trees? Those yeah. Trees have white flowers and they smell like dead fish. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was I cool, but them. then I keep asking smelling. my parents if we can cut them down and replace them with some other tree, like any other tree that doesn't smell like dead fish. Please. All right. I'm gonna brag, but I think I got the plant that lives forever. Why do I? It's a gorgeous plant. I know. I know it's gorgeous. I don't even have to water it. It's plastic. <laughs> my my family believes in plastic. All right, we don't believe in that watering garbage. All right, we got too many water bills to pay to, to water plants. All right. I'm just Screw saying. Plants. I like. I used to put all my plants in my room, and literally, like the air smells fresher because there's a direct exchange between carbon and oxygen happening in that one place so i'm just saying that i don't just have plants because i think they look cool i also have them because it Air brings quality. a lot of fresher oxygen to me yes That's directly funny. into my lungs <laughs> I, I think i think uh jersey needs more of that <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah oh this plant smells like a uh, cigarette buds and oh, what's that gasoline um <laughs> uh, all right wait, plants. all right movies oh Movies, this is great. Uh, Tiffany, start us off. <laughs> Tiffany, start us off. Okay. Uh, um, so I love Harry Potter. <laughs> Any Marvel movie, except a couple. A couple of them aren't the best, but it's whoa, awesome. Whoa, whoa. What? <laughs> Hold on. What? All right, so I have my favorites, and then I have my okays. So what's, what's okay? What's an okay right. movie so for Marvel? This isn't anything against the movies themselves. It's just their characters aren't as interesting, in my opinion. Okay? I'm not going to talk about them because I don't want to start controversy. We're, we're no, starting controversy. Know, Tell us. us. So, Harry Tell Potter. Um, I like Dis some of the Disney movies. Disney owns everything now. I can't say yeah. some of the Disney's movies. So. Disney's like all of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Dang it. So, 
It seems like everyone has their favorite Disney princess movie. I do. Oh my gosh. Savannah. Guess I have, my, I have a favorite Disney Mulan. princess. Dude, it's I a great day to mow your lawn. I like Belle. Like Belle? the original Beauty and the Beast. That That's a great movie, in my opinion. It is. They, you like, don't have to. You don't represent girls as people who just clean and marry princes and like she actually. It's deep. Huh. It's deep. It's it's yeah. a deep movie. Yeah. Other right, than the Stockholm Syndrome, but oh, other than that, it's a great movie. Oh shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Movies, Disney Princess, Marvel, DC. Oh, you don't know the answer. Uh, <laughs> so. I mean, like, the Harry Potter movies, okay, not all of them. Most of them are fantastic. The only thing that I hate about the Harry Potter movies is whenever they introduce the, like, you know, like, liquid luck, like the Felix juice um, potion thing. It's not gold in the movie. Okay, that's really specific, but that just, right. just broke the wrong way. Um, anyway, uh, okay, let's see. I, I'm a big fan of Iron Man, like, doesn't matter how old those movies get, like they're just good, you know. Yeah, really like I'm scared for the day when they start, like when or because most likely in a couple of years they're gonna try to remake those movies to make more money off of us. Oh, and sure. I'm scared for those days. Spider Man. <laughs> I mean, okay, there's like three different Spider Man movies, isn't there? There's, no, okay, four different about- people that play them. See, four. <laughs> wow. Well, tag, 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 tag. Toby Maguire is the real Spider Man, all right? Don't get me soft about Tom Holland. Spider Man is replaced by a hot young British student. I will say that he does fit the role of being a high school student the best out of all of them. Yeah. He's not the third man, correct. Toby Maguire is the real Spider Man. You know know that not my president thing? I'm going to say not my Spider Man. (laughs) All right, Toby Maguire is really good, was the first Spider Man I ever watched. So. He's always going to have a special place in the Spider-Man rank mm-hmm. because Spider-Man. of that. Um, I know three of the Spider-Mans. I didn't know there was a fourth one. We I don't had the uh, the first like, guy at, who doesn't get any recognition. And, um, I know because I know Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland. Max Charles was the guy. Max he did Charles. one movie. But Which one was he? Like, wasn't he the first one? The Amazing know. Spider-Man. What? What? Isn't the Amazing that, that Spider-Man? That's not Garfield. Do you guys like Spider-Man: The Multiverse? I never got into it because I couldn't watch cartoons. That's just. Wait, are you, you're talking about the um? It was like a movie. cartoon on Disney. No, the new movie. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, like I know it was on Netflix for a little while, and okay. Anyway, but oh, dude, I want to see that so bad. It's so good, Brandon. You're really gonna like it. It's I need cool. to see it. I love the um the different the frame rates because the uh, yeah. Niles is his name, right? Is it mm-hmm. Miles? No, Miles, he, that, Miles. he was in a like a 24 and. I know he's like 16, and there are other Superman, the real one. He's like 24, so it looks human, something yes. like that. It looks so cool. I need to see yeah. it. It's, um, it's really good. All right, Disney Princess. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't talk about oh. your Disney Princess. Favorite Disney Princess? Favorite? Um, I already uh, said that. None of them because it's all a bunch of sexist, fun stuff. Um, I hate that they're recreating some of them personally. Just to make yeah, straight up. Straight up. It, but it's just not. Yeah. It's not the same. Like, like if I had to action, a lot of these live action movies, in my opinion, they're good if they were the only movie. But you say, um, like the Lion King, they change so much stuff, and they add. Like I get that they're adding modern stuff in, into them and like modernizing them, but hmm. the originals, the originals won our hearts for a reason. Right. Like, yeah, a lot of the originals were created a certain way, and the fact that I 
I guess me being a teenager and now they're coming out, all these new things could be a difference in that I grew up on with the with the original animated Disney movies. Yeah. If I had to choose one, I would choose Snow White just because, you know, there's this, there's this movie called Mirror Mirror and it's basically like, it's a Snow White story, and but it's like a little bit different. And I really loved that movie particularly and like Snow White was in it, you know, and... Mm-hmm. So that just that that's the only reason I chose that. But that movie, if you haven't seen it, you should really watch it. Called Mirror Mirror, uh, and like, it's just it's phenomenal. Like, speaking amazing. of Snow White, what do you think about Once Upon a Time, the Netflix? I think it's a Netflix I original. I have not seen it for a reason. <laughs> uh, was it like a story? A story? Was it like a? It was a TV show, right? And then yeah. they spent like story tales, like or it's all the fairy uh, tales, pretty much. Yeah, um, I like watched it-, it once it came out. Um, well, that before it was on Netflix, when I had the, the um, uh, I don't know what it was called, but when you had um, TV? something happened in the. I think wasn't there like an invisible field or something? Oh no! I watched the first season. Spoilers ahead. <laughs> I watched the first Something season weird. in sixth grade, sixth or seventh grade, and yeah, then I haven't like watched. And then they, not the first season. I watched the first part until where they had the girl and her son, and she goes back to find out about her past, and she's actually a fairy tale character. Her son Henry is. They need a new. They're restarting everything with Henry, and I haven't watched that part. I think I watched one episode with a friend because he told me that it was good, and then I watched that one episode and hated it. Like Netflix is just, trash. Like, Netflix is fantastic, but they need to stay in their lane. Like <laughs> <laughs> they, they just didn't have the right like like experience within that realm. I think. But okay, if I had to choose Marvel or DC, I would definitely say Marvel. And you I would don't like Marvel Joker. Too. Okay, Joker was good, and Wonder Woman's great, but. Marvel is so good. Marvel is I love, awesome. I love how they set up their cinematic universe and like when you watch the things like before Endgame came out and how they were like it was their original plan was to pull everything together. Like everything that happened mm-hmm. up to Endgame everything was pieced together to go up to that one point. Okay, one thing that I absolutely hate the most reason recent 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 movie okay whenever they're like all fighting and stuff and and this is like the final scene they're all fighting they have no idea what's about to happen they're like oh my gosh we're gonna lose and then captain marvel yes spoilers ahead if you're uh, haven't seen the movie it's kind of you haven't seen the movie yet you're not gonna watch (laughs) it (laughs) it's true it's true oh savannah Savannah, you're lagging out talk about in game Endgame's been out for about a year now, I gotta say. So if you yeah. haven't seen the movie, go yeah. watch it now. Like, pause this, go on Netflix, go on Disney Plus, go on Netflix, find it on, watch and it watch it, 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 and then listen to what's happening, getting ready to be said next. Yeah. There we go. Give him, give him a second to click <laughs> off. One, two, two, three. All right, go Savannah. Rip it apart. Okay. So, this freaking, okay, listen, I watched the Captain Marvel, Marvel movie, and it was okay. It was interesting, the whole background thing. Like, it was it was a good kind of, like, like I'm glad that they're introducing a new female character and stuff like that. But she freaking flew in out of nowhere. She literally, at the end of her movie, she went and was like, I got to go save other planets now because I realized, oh, my God, I'm a superhero. So she goes to <laughs> other planets. Then she flies in out of nowhere, very end of the battle, saves the day, and then flies back. She's like, okay, I got to go help another planet now. And I'm like, you suck. You absolutely suck. You could not. Yeah. Okay. So when I was talking earlier that there's some Marvel movies that I don't like, Marvel characters that I don't like, she is one of them. Like, overall, what they were trying to, the kind of thing they were going to try to do with Captain Marvel, I understood. But the way that they used her character, like, they're using her character as a saving grace and, like, no, like it's the way she just puts in out of nowhere, saving the day. Like I know, yeah, Captain America, Black Widow called her, but still, like they, it just seems like once she gets there, all of a sudden everything's fine. But like, if Captain Marvel was going to swoop in and save the day, 
why is it why are they killing all off other characters? Why Dude, don't, I'll tell you why. why. I can tell you why they killed off Beat Black Widow. They freaking killed off Black Widow and Captain America retired and like all. Did they kill off Cap? Uh, oh, they didn't kill him. They retired him. Yeah, because and they yeah. Off yeah. Were dark. contracts were ending, and they're like, now it's going to be a new age of Marvel because now yeah. we're going to have new characters acting as Black Widow and all these other characters. What? That she her contract retired, so this is the last. Scarlett that, Johansson's. Yeah, this is the last movie that she's gonna be in. Her own like background of Black Widow. I'm pretty sure because her contract ended. They killed her off. I also think the way Disney did oh are dealing with the Spider Man yeah. incident too. I'm very mad about that. Like they they make this third movie and they drop it off. They end it in a cliffhanger. What because if you never are aren't allowed to get to uh, like, <laughs> They're just leaving this cliffhanger out for us. They can't leave away. Tom Holland. Listen, Tom Holland is my everything. He's every girl's everything. Every teenage girl is in love with that boy right now. And it's so, like, he's such a I'm guy. Love with him. And when he shaved his head, oh, my God, I wanted to cry. Oh, hold on. I'll say this for all the boys. He's pretty okay. <laughs> he's pretty okay. <laughs> I, um... Can I say as a girl that I don't all right. He, he's not that bad. He's he's eye candy for us teenage girls, but I'm not in love with him. Listen, I'm not in love with him either. But I'm in love I with him. End up <laughs> he's eye candy. <laughs> it's like when I do look at him, like he's hot, like he's an attractive guy. And then his American accent is on point. But his British accent, ooh, he's not my God. American for he it. He can switch personally. really well. He, oh, I don't know. Roy, oh. he, he's talking he like can. this. Uh, that's not British. It's, yeah, it's he's, British. He won't have he's, like, here. he's like, oh, it, it's always, oh. It's always kind of like sweet. Whoa, that's really good. That's so good. Oh my God. Right. It's like coconut milk. Like, he's always. <laughs> right. I love how he funny. uses the American accent and his British accent when he talks, like, when he's talking about another person. So he'll use his British accent when he's talking about himself. But if he uses, talks about someone else, He'll use his American accent. Right. That is so funny. And the greatest great thing yeah, is his, his capability to switch. Just he like just that. Switch. <laughs> like, hey guys, how you doing? My name's Tom Holland. Right. And now I'm, I'm from England. Right. And, <laughs> and uh, I'm Spider Man. I got the call. And I went to the hospital, got on the oh. telly. Oh. And then now I'm Spider Man. <laughs> He likes Harry Potter too. Like it blows my mind. He's like the perfect guy. Like he likes Harry Potter. He likes Star Wars. He's freaking Spider Man. Like <laughs> I <should> just die. <laughs> yeah. He's the perfect. Like... All right. <laughs> um. All right. Um. You never did your favorite princess because I want to. I want to tell my princess. I oh yeah. She did. Right, she did. Right, Snow, Snow White. Snow White. She did right. Snow White. Oh, if um, I have. Snow White. Okay. Um, my favorite movie. And then we went back. 2001: Space Odyssey. If you haven't watched it, watch it. It's a it's a doozy. It's not one of Star those Trek you know. Also, just like put that out there. No Wait. Star Trek, and then 2001 is like off the graph. You can't even see where it goes. It's a movie. Stanley you know? Kubrick, 1968. Ooh, and then John Wick. <laughs> <Just right after>. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Marvel for sure, but I also love Joker. Favorite Disney princess is um. You guys are probably gonna give me a lot of sauce for this because it's not original, but Padme. Never watched. Technically, it. it's a Disney princess. No, no, Padme from Star Wars. Oh, oh. What year are you from? She's My technically a Disney God. princess. She was a princess. Yeah. There we go. I'm telling I'm you. I'm recording. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never... Say, say hi. Say hi. Yeah, say hi to people yeah. on YouTube. Uh, hey. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. I'll give you grace because you let me warn them when you got in. You started taking my suit fed after I bought a box of 120. Gave you every bit of them, but just one little sheet. You use all mine too, but one pill and never bother tell me. I. Okay. Tiffany. What the heck, Tiffany? <laughs> the heck, Tiffany? 
Tell me next time you pull out. There's no more ice cream for that. Okay. Oh, bye. Bye. That's funny. How do you get in the house? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, for half, even right now, I'm forgetting what Sudafed is for half a second. Once everything's done, I'm going to probably remember what it is. <laughs> What's that? Padme? Oh my. <gasps> Oh okay, so as, now as a boy, over... I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure where every boy can vindicate that Natalie Portman's really hot. Can you understand me if I blew in the mic like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like <laughs> yeah. Hadame, Princess Leia. Princess, well, Princess Leia, I can agree with you. On that. Like, ooh, um, Brie Larson, so I'll admit, gotta... she's pretty cool. She. Um, Scarlett Johansson, oh my gosh, bro! Yes. What the first movie she did? What was that? Captain America, first, first Avenger. Whenever, whenever it was. No, no, no! Iron Man. It was an Iron Man. Do you remember it at the end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost lost it, bro. Bow, hello. You know what I mean? Anyway, mm -hmm. now, now I'm gonna be labeled as a sexist because I enjoy the female body. <laughs> <laughs> when you put it that way. <laughs> I put it that way. Oh man! Put it up, but like in a way, I'm not gonna deny that she's like dummy hot. Like, yeah. But I will say, Chris Evans, he's got a body that I wish I had. He's got that Dorito. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The Dorito, the yeah, Dorito yeah, yeah. body awesome. shape. I, I'm freaking, I'm okay. sick boy. All right, yeah. now that's enough about us. This is yeah. a. Uh, New segment, simulation theory. Now, this folks at home, grab a uh, grab a chair if you weren't already sitting. Popcorn, some soda, because this is gonna get real deep, real quick. Heck yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So first, is this? I wish a simulation? I got water because. Okay. He's gonna get a saucy real quick. Oh, I'm I have so to go to the bathroom, but we're gonna wait. <laughs> when we go to the bathroom, real quick. I'm gonna go yeah. grab my water. Everyone, grab what. This is our intermission, folks at home. Get your drinks while we uh. Yeah, this is our intermission. A, We're gonna take a, take quick a break. I'll be right back. Welcome to my segment of the podcast. Woohoo! My neighbor is cutting their wood. I don't know why, but all my neighbors like to annoy me and do yard work when I'm recording the podcast. So welcome to my segment of the podcast. Well, Tiffany and Brandon, trust me. May I just say, neighbors are annoying. Neighbors, I want to say this. First of all, it great. Everyone just think I'm back. Welcome. I have my own segment of the podcast. Didn't we love it, guys? We had so much fun. <laughs> yes. So are we going to cut this part out, or are we going to have the whole thing? Let's leave it. I don't know. I have a little, like, welcome to my segment of the podcast, guys. Yours truly. <laughs> like, that, that was really fun. I talked about how I hated neighbors. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I have my celebratory cookies that I made for our first video, our first oh, podcast. You my should self. give me a bite. I'll eat the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's leave this part in. <laughs> let's show our personality. <laughs> yeah, guys, get to know us. Celebratory today. cookies for making the first podcast. Yeah, it went really well. Then I have, I have some water. Fun. I think Brandon's back. Uh oh. Hold on, guys. No, 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 no. Hold on. I made some celebratory cookies for our first podcast. She she gave me one. She threw it at me. I ate it. Yeah, you want one too, Brandon? Hold on, my headsets. All right, my headsets in there. All right, what are we uh, talking about? Uh, celebratory cookies. cookies. I made Ooh. celebratory cookies for the first podcast. You want one? Yeah, Here. give me one real quick. Thank you. <laughs> I ate my Trojan camera. They're really good, yep. Tiffany. This is good. Is that nutmeg? <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Ow. 
All right, I got my Cheez Its and my oh. water. How's this wealth yep. in 2020, right? I need a coaster. Oh, I'm guys, look, I with a new, plastic water bottle. I'm going to get hate. I got a new sticker from my water that. bottle, and it's a slot. Mm. How, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get hate and backlash for my plastic. <laughs> Boo. I'm a disco girl. So. Save the turtles. Save the turtles. Save the turtles. Gus, 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 Gus. SK, SK, SK. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't know about do it. I don't know. Someone texted me the SKS and I was like Why why did you say that? <laughs> I thought it was a gun because it is a gun and the SKS is like a it's a semi automatic rifle, Russian. Um, you know, it's garbage. Uh and I was like, Why'd you like is that a death threat? And I was like, No, that's a new thing. I was like, Oh, Okay. All right, that that's an intermission. You know what, it was yeah, like sure. super hard to like know that. It's Done. So um, action. Right. String th simulation theory. I don't like to try that. Oh, one down. Ooh, get that ASMR. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We should do an entire episode in ASMR, like doing the podcast like ASMR. I think. I'm gonna open the bag. Look at the sound of me eating one. <laughs> oh, you gotta tell me if you guys like that. Leave it in the links below. We'll start a new channel. We might do an entire podcast. Bro. We're just gonna whisper and wake up my drink. <laughs> this, is, this is a new segment called ASMR. Nah, that's enough for me. All right, let's get it. I know you can't see it, but here's why, Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Savannah, do you think? I know Savannah's, we've had a, a big discussion about this. Um, is, is life a, a game? Oh my god, there's a cat. There's a it's cow? Like there's a cat. How much you have? A cat. You're in a net. Huh? You're in a net house, right? You can't get um, here. It's not in me. <sighs> yeah, I was super worried about the cat killing me, Brandon. No, it's like, yeah, but it's like, it's a distance away. I don't know where it was. Where's my cat? <laughs> Can you hear me crunching? Yeah, a little bit, oh. not a lot. It's mainly the best. No, I'm gonna move. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Actually, That's gonna suck for you guys. Can't hear you eating. It's just I can hear you. The bag. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna move the bag around. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll I'll start because I think I've I've done about this so deeply. It's really yeah. sad. Um. It's not impossible. Uh, to, the, the chances of life being a simulation is one in a million or billion. I'm wrong. Sorry. Because. And that's that's what I think of it, is it's one in a billion. So that's no, that's of it being real. It's one in a billion chance of this being real life, and that's really weird to think about in perspective because we are getting so close to this virtual age where we don't even need to be connected here. Like we're we're uh, face to face, but we're you're in a screen. So this, even though I don't have anything on my face that I can't feel, that's just because our technology is back. So once we do get uh, this technology, there won't be any way to tell the difference between um, life as we know it and the new world. And this may be a completely different world from the world before us because they may, you know, soda may be just battery juice. I don't know. It's it's weird, like these programmers. Is are you an NPC? They're just gonna real real deep. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna close the computer because. Well, <laughs> if you think about it, like you see cosplay. What if that was real life? Like you, you were born like in this new world technology where you can't, where everything's about the same. Like the VR. Um, 
right. or technology. Like, what if you went into a world like you think of Dungeons and Dragons, which I enjoy playing that, mm-hmm. and think what if you could turn Dungeons and Dragons into a virtual reality? Mm-hmm. I I can I'm here, and you can get to the point where if they program it just right. You, I think that that's real la- reality, and this is a video. Game. Yeah. Um, it's one of those uh, chicken and egg theory. Are you an NPC, or a um, a randomly generated um person? Mm-hmm. And I'm just a player in this game. Is everything else just the game? But are or are we in the same game? We're all the same minds. But like, there's there are no NPCs. But if I was an NPC, then and if you're a real player, then you would be thinking, I'm telling you this to reassure you that I'm not an NPC. You know what I mean? But I know I'm an, a real person. At least I think. You know what I mean, I, I know I'm real, and I don't know if you are. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's. But if you're real, then you know. I'm only saying that because now you want to be a part of this new game. So it's it's a catch twenty two. The more you know, the more you don't. Mhm. Hey, Ryan, tell me what are your thoughts? Okay, so like, I would say like I've I've thought about this a good bit. Maybe not as much as Brandon, but like, so you know how like some people believe in like true loves and stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. there's or like soulmates. Like there's only yeah. one person out of the seven point six billion people that belongs. That like yeah. you should be together. I That's feel like down. that. Yeah, I feel like I feel like that goes along with the theory of just kind of like yeah. you have to have one person that's like that it matches you specifically. Makes, it kind of also makes you think when you think of when two people get married, they're they're pushing their differences aside and they're trying to cooperate. Is that being a soulmate? Or is that just day to day life when you get into a romantic relationship with someone? My thing is like every time you think like you have an option, like so I have the option. Should I have brought? Should I should I start eating now at eleven thirty my lunch, or should I wait till like twelve or one o'clock? You know, and then you have that little that voice in your head that's like, eh, maybe I'll just wait till one. You know, like I'm not hungry yet, so I'll wait. Right. You know, like that kind of thing. Conscious. That to me. Like, that to me, like, I've thought about it in both ways. i thought about it as I'm the player, and I've also thought about it as somebody is playing as me. So, like, right. they get to create their own character and stuff like that, and I just happen to be their character. So that little voice in my head is that person who's playing as me, like, making the choices, and then I say consciously. Yeah. Like, so and we, I, do you think there's two consciences, the the player and you, right? Or are you playing as one? Depends. It depends. It really depends. Um, AI, I love AI. Oh my yeah. gosh, it's it's so beautiful. You know why? Because it works. I I, I don't know how to so, program it because I do C plus plus. So but... I know Jones is about like twenty. I think he's he's about twenty eight, and he okay. he talked about making an AI on chess on how to play chess, and he oh, yeah, talked great. about how um when he made the game. The game went so slow because the AI was so smart. It, when it was getting ready to make its next move, it would take like 10, 20 minutes to make the next move because it's thinking of all the possibilities of what could happen next. Actually, what what was going on? Was So wait, he, did he program it himself? Huh? Did he program it himself? Mm-hmm. He's pretty garbage. He didn't let it um, learn. You have to let the com- the AI learn because then it's this supercomputer. It just it can make decisions, complicated decisions cool. that we can never make in seconds. Um, but if you don't let it learn, it does take thirty minutes for each decision because it's got to run through all those. Which one's optimum? Uh, and we've been. But, I don't know. To me, just thinking about that, how that is itself. Like these computers, be you. They're so smart in that way. Like mm-hmm. when you think of when two humans are playing chess against each other, there's human error in it. Right. The computers oh, yeah. don't make that error. 
Like, okay, like, I feel like they're so, like, the simulation theory is, like, such a widespread, like, kind of, like, idea because there's so many variations of the idea. Some people think that, like, like, I think that, like, I'm a player in this game. That's how I think of it. But, like, like I said earlier, maybe somebody else is playing as me because of that little voice in my head every time I make a decision, every time I think about something, you know? And oh. I feel like, I feel like that could just be, like, a program thing like like i asked myself like whenever i had school it was i had to eat lunch at this time you know mm -hmm. and i'm wondering if you know some say that's the schedule but maybe that's just i have school now i have to do that and i feel like to make something like a quarantine happen like make something like covid19 go like viral like this is exactly what would happen in a game there are games that like you get to create your own disease and like your own virus and literally okay. spread throughout areas. There, there are games like that. Um, yeah, and there's. I know there's a phone game that's like that. There's one on Play PC. Play game, baby. <laughs> there's one on PC that's like that, and it just blows my mind. Like, what if, like, I I think I'm gonna go. Okay, as I continue to go along in this this theory, I think I'm just gonna go with the fact that I'm a player in this game. But then we run into the issue of, well, I think Brandon's a player in this game, and I think Tiffany's a player in this game, too. So who are the AI? Who are the computers playing with us? Do you think we even have an AI? Do you think there are AIs, or there's just so many of us that there's no point of having AIs? I feel like... That would make you know, sense. Like, you know how in servers, you know how, like, in Minecraft servers, you have, like, you can have a ton of people in a Minecraft server, or they can go to individual Minecraft servers. Right. So if we use this theory that there are no AI because there's enough people playing the game, then, then that who's the tree or who's yeah. the who's the um? That's a good point. Yeah. Pets that we have are they AI? Yeah. If you like think about. And then like the I do think my dog's broken. <laughs> I agree. So. You want to be that crazy out over here? Is my but it kind of makes sense. <laughs> Like if you look at it, I just got a puppy. This puppy's growing, and um, I'm gonna just take Sims for the uh, computer game that I play. Um, they they have dogs, and you kind of don't play the dogs. You can't control the dogs. You can train them, but you can't like tell them when to yeah. eat or when to go to the bathroom. And stuff. Right. Like, you kind of train them to do. You're only conscious in your own mind. Yeah. But you can like, oh my God. but you can stop it. Like you can oh, dog now to train it, stop it from what it's ever doing, whatever it wants to do. I think that like, like you know those games on like Roblox. I'm I'm gonna throw it back here. Okay, so like you know like those games on Roblox that are just like they're like you get to play. You can play as a dog or a cat or a baby or a teenager or a kid or a thing like that. Yeah, like, we'll play games. Yeah. Yeah. RPG. Yeah. yeah. I feel like this is like exactly like that. I feel like if you want to be a kid, then you can be a kid. But I feel like everybody has to Where start off. But I think you, everybody has to start off like as a baby or as a pet or like you know like something. They along have to that start way. off at uh, as the. It's kind of, that also makes me think like when we have our birthday or when we like move up grades in schools, are we leveling up? I feel um, like I have the choice to level up, level up to college and go, and like do something else, or you have the choice to level up to college and go up to a higher career. I think okay. Here's here's what I think it is. I don't think it's leveling up necessarily. I think it's getting like not getting older, but just like having mm -hmm. more, like having like whether you're more mature. Like if I were to brag to my friend like about this game, I'd be like. Hey, guess what? I got my character to uh, mature, like. Oh no! Mature at thirteen, realistic. Yeah. But oh, you froze. I can hear you. But okay, now we're good. Yeah, that's my thing. Like, I think, I just think that's what it is. Like, I feel like Our maturity. I feel like it's maturity, and also like as you go along, like there are stages that you have to hit, like when you get your first apartment or your flat or your um or like sixteen like, first house. Yeah, like birthdays, going, going up grade levels, taking tests, and like 
like not taking any tests, like standardized tests. And here's the thing. Did you know that if the more standardized tests you take, the more like um, the more like emails you'll get about colleges and stuff like that, like because schools are looking looking at you because they sell that information. So my thing is in the game. I feel like you can be like grow up to be a professor of a college or like something like that, you know, and like, I don't know. It's just crazy. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, my viewpoint. Okay, so this is my viewpoint is weird. I don't really have. I don't think this is a game, even though I'm very um, uh, enthusiastic about it. Um, or what's that word? Yeah, enthusiastic. What is that word? Enthusiastic. Yeah, I, I guess it's the word. I don't know. Um, I just got a lot of opinion on it, but you know, with my religion, being a Christian, I do believe this is this got to be it. You know what I mean? So let's let's hope it is. But when when I think about you know virtual reality and then that being so like GTA Five, have mm-hmm. you ever played GTA Five? Oh yeah. You can do so many things. You can drink alcohol. Uh huh. And get drunk. What? What? Hey, you it, sound like there's a such kid. little details. That... Yeah, it, like details it to like what it's like to be drunk in mm-hmm. the GTA game. There's so many details. But... The creator must have been drunk at one point in time. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. um, and w- one thing I think is what people may be missing is our world may, may be different from the one before us because but how when do we know you, that one was before us? Well, that, that, that's the hypothetical thought. If there was one before us, that this would be a different one, that something that didn't work in theirs is working in here. Like, mm-hmm. fine cars. Fine cars don't make sense in this world, but they work in video games. Why? Because you can change the rules. So they're changing rules that behind us. Oh, this can go with means... another theory that um, I forgot the name of it, but it's like um, pretty much every kind of world, every possible choice that you can ever make is a different world and we're just living in one mm. of million of, of millions of millions. Oh, I love this theory. I've seen it so That's many times. Crazy. So if you I watch DC Legends, if you, if you watch DC Legends of Tomorrow, there's an episode in there where so this guy dies in this world, but since it's the multiverse, there's yes. another one, and he and in this one he looks exactly like his old self. But guess what? He's gay. And this, I think, this is like one of the perfect examples of like how like your decisions can be changed like that. And I think like that blows my mind, like completely off. Like I don't know how. <laughs> Like got such a like tight handle All on right, how. I'm gonna throw a rabbit trail, and my cat just jumped on my lap. <laughs> so, like, take a second and enjoy how beautiful she is. <laughs> it's like, hi, welcome to the podcast. Our first <laughs> All right, I'll let it go now. All right, back to what you're saying, Savannah. Sorry, I threw a rabbit trail on that. Uh, yeah, just like having like so many different like versions of yourself i guess like i don't i don't really know how it would correlate with the simulation theory but it just i feel like it just proves the point that like there are so like even every little decision can change so many things so how is it that me eating lunch at one or one thirty, how does that affect my future like how does it change what's fire, going fire, fire. yeah but it's like yeah. am i in Am I a um, AI? And my AI spends thirty minutes to make those decisions to see how it will affect the future. Mm. Like how? Like you know? Yeah. And, I, and to think about it, time. Like when you even when you look in uh, looking different things, time is only relative to us. Like humans made time. So, we created time. We uh, created time so that we could have a. Like, and, so that we could have more control, ideally. We that's, that's well. Now we're getting into astrology, which not astrology, astronomy, which is my sport. So sport. I just I just call it astronomy my sport. So as a Christian, there's a verse in the Bible. I can't pull out exactly which verse and where. And please don't hold this against me. 
ever. But there's yeah. a verse that talks about like ten days is like ten thousand years, and ten thousand yeah. years is like ten days. Mm. I it it's it. I'm paraphrasing it to where yeah. how it came to me. So don't like and summarize. Me, but. Right. I summarized it. If you were to go and look for it, it might be different, and it depends on what you go look right. at. Which Bible you are? All right. So, so don't yeah. hold this against me as a human being. Yes. Yeah, if if you guys now. snowflake out and saw Tiffany, I'll come find you. Because <laughs> that's you don't deserve the internet. Now, <laughs> now I'm on hit list. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, time. Is it a human contract? No. Yes, um, it is a human concept. Concept? So w w what do you mean by that? So by that, Brandon, I mean that we create a time. <laughs> like, look back in the it, Bible. God wasn't like, oh, I'm going to see you at 1230. See you there, bud. Like, he well, wasn't like that. Still, it there was, was still like day and night. You still have to think about it. No, like, there was still day and night. There was night and then They night. didn't have time then. They, they, they didn't have, like... <laughs> The only yeah, I'll see you at 12. Right, when I'm going to get my sundial. All right. Let's I was like, like, I'm going to create light at 11 o'clock today. And hold, then on, go hold, to hold on, hold on. Everyone's lagging. Okay. Oh. Say it again. So let's go one at a time. And who wants to go first? I want to go first. Brandon. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Brandon. See, two votes against one. Thank you, Tiffany. I'm joking. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So, God, okay. If you believe in God and Christianity and all that stuff, no, no, no. How about how about um, just one superpower? Okay, one so, maker. Let's say no, there's, open the door. yeah, there's one creator. One, there's one person out there who created the entire little shebang, right? Time did not always exist. You can look back at the Romans who created time itself. They did not always have it, and they wanted things to be more organized so that humans could have more control, as we want control. We are controlling beings. That was the entire purpose of time being created. This one overlying ruler wasn't like, okay, I'm going to create the universe at 12 p.m. tonight. Like, like, or I can say, like, okay. like no. so can I say something? Definitely yeah. you go. Without being interrupted. All right, so I think as... I think this world has always had some sort of concept of time. We've just complicated it more. Like, okay, this there was always day, night. All right, when the sun reaches to this level, let's do this. Or when the sun reaches to completely straight above us, let's have lunch because it's halfway through the day. Well, I think uh, I think as humans, we have complicated it a little bit more on time and added numbers to it and did 20. Like we have 60 seconds equals one minute, 60 minutes equals one hour, 24 hours equals one day, seven days equal one week, four weeks equals one month, 12 months equals one year, 10 year, years equals a decade. Yeah. And you have 25 but, years equals a quarter of a century, 100 years is a century, and you kind of move up to like even a thousand years is a millennium we've kind of complicated mm -hmm. everything up to where we it's easier to control on okay at 5 oh 5 30 p.m we're having dinner right and but it's only it it easier to control how we're going to spend our day the only problem is different calendars in different like areas and stuff like that that other people have developed don't align like mm -hmm. november wasn't always in the calendar um, in the real Julius Caesar. <laughs> Julius Caesar. He he's technically technically this boy. Like, what if he was born in November, but they didn't have November? <laughs> so when was he born? You know, they had different months, and they they had more than twelve, but they took. Some oh, out. okay. I, I I think you're saying that. Uh, uh, I'm trying to. Okay, so. Okay, and astronomy. Does everyone know space time? Yeah. Space, mm -hmm. like, space, time. Uh, right. space time is the fabric of space that where everything mm -hmm. lays every atom every every everything and on this fabric um fabric uh, it, time is another dimension mm -hmm. whoa right so theoretically speaking time is the foundation of 
what we are on. So we just use this measurement, like Tiffany was saying, this measurement as a way of saying, you know, oh, we are this far along. It's like um, a football field and say like, oh, where are we? We don't know. Let's make a way. It was always there. We just didn't have a way to measure it. Mm -hmm. Um, and space time gets weird. Mm -hmm. That'd be another show because that's 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 kind of what that's too crazy. What I was trying to say is like I feel like time has always been there. We've just haven't. We never really we did. We didn't measure it. We haven't always measured it the same. And I feel Mm -hmm. like if we go back about two thousand. 2,000 years ago, we didn't measure it the same way we do now. And right. 2,000 years from now, we're not going to measure it the same time as we do today. Right, yeah. If I'm, is kind of how I'm thinking about it. Yeah, if yeah, that's true. You're 2,000 years from now. Aren't you? Time, time yeah, is weird. Going deep. <laughs> this has got, yeah, this one's deep. Um, like in video games, t- days are shorter so the, the player can play more, you know what I mean? Because, like, GTA days aren't one day. Right, so, is this just a sped-up day? What we think is normal? Right? Um, is it... This, um, span of day <laughs> simpler than the, how long and po- dragged out the days of this character um, this greater being that's playing us. Mm-hmm. If there is a greater being playing us, what if it's just there us? Is. Yeah. All right, hold on. Then this is going to get deeper. If there is a greater being, do you think? Let's let's say, the greater being, is, the player. The greater being, or the the Almighty Master who created everything, or Allah, um, whoever. Everyone else's. God. If they even have one. Holy Spirit. Big Bang. Big Bang. Big Is this just a player? Is that a player in another game? So if. <laughs> there's like, what? So. But, and the thing is, when I think of. All right. So. So I know in Sunday school and stuff, you learn about God knows what you're going to do. And he, he already knew before you were born what you're going to do how you're going to die and everything. And he already knew that you were going to, ch- if you were going to become a Christian or not. So am I just a puppet? I've always thought, am I just a puppet? And that is just being played by God and Satan. And I'm not actually choosing what I'm doing. It's, it's them. God's an AI. AI can make this. My thing is, if God is so perfect, then we, <laughs> we know that AI we know that AI has gotten to the point where, you know, it, you know how, like, we're humans, we're not perfect. So if we go and create an AI, is that AI going to be perfect? But we know that AI can make themselves perfect. We know that there's a way for them to be greater than us. So what if that's the situation? What if, like, some AI was created, let's say, a thousand times in the future? Like, what if it's, like, way past us? Like, let's right. say, like, 20,000 years b- before us, somebody create like made this like ai and then put it in a time machine and send it backwards and this is what we have now like what what if that's because 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 having all the decisions made is basically what ai is it's a complicated step of decisions that's pre-made and you can't really change it because it's it knows the change that would be you know what I mean? It's it's all you think you're changing it, but it's not because it's already uh, in the end. We all know what's going to happen. So, uh, are we just an AI with a consciousness? I feel very scared about talking about this because what if we get it right yeah. and then our creator or like whoever is controlling but, us? Yeah, a lightning and- strike. Oh, have you seen that video? Oh my god, it just scared me. Where somebody got yeah, I was scared by for device. five, five years. Really? Wow. Yes, dude. This I was I was little man. Um, it was it was I think it was edited. I don't know. I think it was edited. I'm pretty sure. Um, it was a church and lightning strike. People disappear, and it's just a couple people left crying. 
And I was like, oh my gosh. Like that that's that's the calling where, you know, that's the afterlife. And those people apparently didn't believe in their religion. Um and I was like, oh my gosh. And I, I believe in my religion, but I just feel like Oh my gosh! What happens if I don't re- believe in my like? Not it's not one of those. I don't believe in my religion. It's one of those. Am I what? doing it enough? Is there a limit? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Like I, I've just always been scared. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I've always thought if because I'm gonna just proclaim I am a Christian, and I've always right. thought, what if what if what I'm doing is <laughs> like, you think you think of the Old Testament, and there's a bunch of rules and regulations that you have to follow. If you if you're gonna go by the Old Testament, mm-hmm. there's a bunch of rules and regulations, and then the New Testament is show love and share the word, it is pretty much mm-hmm. how I interpret it. Again, yeah, yeah I feel, I feel, yeah. Don't hold yeah, that snowflakes. <laughs> don't hold it against me. But like, what if me? What if I'm not loving someone else enough? Like showing, like I wouldn't say. When I think uh when I'm saying love, I don't mean like romantic love. I mean like friendship. Right, yeah. And yeah, yeah, I know you're saying like showing it. enough love for them. There's a lot of like I would say like watery space like within things because like we don't have God here to like answer all our questions. Like I guess you could yeah. pray and pray and pray, but like that's you know, I feel like he leaves things blank for a reason and like leaves oh. it up to you. And again, that kind of just goes back to the game theory. But I'm just saying, like, like I, there's a lot of question marks that I have. And for me, it's like when I think of, like, being religious and stuff like that, like, I, like I consider myself a Christian. But when I think about it, I'm like, am I doing enough? Because I'm yeah. doing enough to my standards. But my standards aren't God's standards. And But it Real. says that, like, he's forgiving and everything like that. And I'm like, that's great that you're forgiving. But I need to know what I need to do. By doing a right. That. Like, exactly. Like, if I'm doing, like, a piece of classwork or, like, some homework or something like that, I want the teacher to be as specific as possible so that I can do things to their liking and also, like, to their standards. Because yeah, I want to not, get 100. Yeah, it's not like, oh, we're going to curve it and you're going to get 100 either way. I just want to know, am I doing the test right? Yeah. So, it, throughout public school as I don't find our school as a lot like public school so I'll say our school and then public school yeah, usually. Yeah. but when I think of back when I was in like elementary and middle school and how ELA teachers went about I felt like because I remember I would do tests in their class and I get to do the test wrong so I've gotten to the point throughout elementary school middle school that I had to learn how the teacher thought and that is how right. I answer the questions you answer the questions the way the teacher wanted you to do things and i've mm-hmm. grown i literally have grown up like that i've went through every ela class i've ever had doing that and to come to the er- early college um our teacher is not like that anymore yeah, yeah. Her like class, that, yeah. she teaches us the way the college colleges do class and now i'm at this point like when i'm given an assignment and it's not very specific i'm like how do i do this i don't yeah, know how do i do it because we're not we're not you don't teach class based off of how you right. think. You teach class on what we think and i right. feel scared and uncomfortable but I, want, but I know that i'm supposed to do things the way i think they should be done but every time i do something the way i think to think think it should be done. I'm scared mm. that I'm going to get wrong because of how You're doing I'm it wrong. <laughs> yeah, and, then, and that all relates back to religion. And I was watching um, Minefield by Michael Stevens, or also known as Vsauce. <laughs> <laughs> um, ah! um, so, so I was watching it, and it was about the placebos, right? Placebo being you take a fake pill, and it works. And I was watching it, and it works. Like a kid had ADHD. He took a fake pill, and it worked. And it's like, wow, is religion just a human placebo that we've created to get over, um, to explain the things we can't explain, yeah. explain the things that we think are good, to show, to make up for the things that are bad. Uh, Mr. Stark. 
or yeah, one of our teachers. Oh, sorry. No, that's fine. That's fine. No, Mr. Stark. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, one of our teachers. We don't know um, who Mr. Stark is. They'll think Tony Stark. Oh, Tony, Tony Stark. Tony Stark. Tony yeah. Stark told me. Don't quote me on this, but Tony Stark. Tony Stark once Our, said, "Don't quote me on this." But Tony Stark once said um, that religion was created. Like he said this, like out of a textbook, one of our textbooks that we use at our school. That religion was created to make up for what we lacked, for the knowledge that we lacked. Something that I have a lot of problems with and a lot of doubt about, like when going to church and stuff like that. I'm like. Well, why would God hurt people if, like, think of all the people that sin, right? He so he released like bugs and like, frogs and stuff like that one once because somebody did something wrong or like a group of people were like not acting right or something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, oh, uh, somewhere uh, in the Bible, like, you don't want to talk about Exodus. the plague. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he released a plague. Well, people that followed him got that anyway. So. My thing is like, what? Like, if he's so great and powerful, then like, why is he? Why can't he specifically target certain people? Like, why is it? That's not fair to everyone, you know. And it's just like the teacher when it's like people are listening to music and maybe like the teacher's getting mad because some people are listening without headphones or they're blasting it or something like that, you know. So they take it yeah. away from everyone. So they take away from everyone, and I'm like, that gets people so mad. So I can understand the frustration. Group punishment, like, yeah. Yeah, but if that happened to me and I got the plague. And like God did that, but He did it to people. Like, like say I was a Christian during the time, and I, you know, you know, begged for mercy, and I was like, no, like I was, I was, then I was like, like a person. God. So you think about this king who has this disaster going on. If just if the people he was already harming weren't gonna weren't being affected either, wouldn't he treat those people even worse? If you think about it, like. So say, think of when kids don't, um, think, think back when in elementary school, when a s- student got in trouble, would he and the teacher would sometimes would punish the whole class because then you've, then you, the whole class wa- watches each other's backs. So that way no one gets in trouble again or does the same thing again. Mm, but sometimes that doesn't work either. I'm not saying it, that's, Way right, it always better. works. Right. In some situations, it works. Other situations, it doesn't. It depends on how everything comes across. But, like... I think yeah. for a lot of people, that, like, one one thing that's, like, hard when you're, like, trying, like, to become religious or, like, you're religious but you have doubts is, like, like, you know, like, if you really like science and that's something you're really into a lot of science contradicts things against like Christianity and stuff like that. Right. That, that to me is and the hard part. Are. Oh, another thing uh, I think about when I think of that, there's also, when you come up to these scientists, there's some scientists that are called creationists and there's some scientists that are called um, atheists. I'm not sure what the t- technical term for it, for that is, but atheists and then you got all these other types of scientists and so when you look at science there's different parts and parts that go with there's different theories that go along with creationism Mm -hmm. creationists and there's some theories to go with the other scientists and then adding on to that tiffany that the i think you come into some people like if you worked for a lab or like you are the lab owner and you're about to hire scientists, if you're a Christian or if you're religious and you're a scientist, yeah. sometimes they will not hire you because they don't want yeah. religion interfering with what you're doing or what you believe because they want you to just believe the facts. And I'm like... That's how... Uh, I'm, and that's I'm in the science field. Human rights. That goes yeah. against our human rights. Right. Uh, or at least I'm in the science field. Rights. This is it. Um, this is it. I was gonna say, um, yeah, it does, yeah, go against human rights for sure. I am in the science field more. And here's okay, this is gonna be great. Uh, I've grown up in a Christian household, right? And with me growing, my my brother didn't do anything that opposed anything against the word. Um, so with me growing into the science field, it was 
my parents were worried, or my family, I should say, was just worried about me being uh, a non-believer, right? Like, oh, he's gonna he's gonna learn about the Big Bang and he's gonna believe that because of facts. I'm a very factual person. I, I like you know, yeah. one plus one will always equal yeah. two. It was, that that's just a fact. Uh, so something I also I, yeah, go ahead. Something I also think about is so my dad talks to me a lot about because he told me when he was a young adult, so like around his twenties, that there were mm-hmm. these articles that came out, and there were some articles that were talking about a fossil that was made in a decade, and we've been told it takes millions of years to fossils. Well, you can't find that article anymore. Like, if you want to go online or try to find it, it's been deleted or taken off to where the public eye can't see it. And that also makes me think: Are some of these science, some of these facts with like the Big Bang, are they? According back. Are they actually correct? Like when? Um. Yeah. So. I'm not saying, well, you know, yeah, and that, yeah, you don't want to say if either side's correct. You correct. never know if anything's actually true or not. Like with uh, evolution, it's still called a theory. Theory. It's not said right. as a fact yet. Like there's ideas that go along with ele- evolution, evolution theory that are m- made as facts, like adaption and stuff. But the theory, the whole entire idea of uh, evolution and stuff itself isn't is still under theory. Right. And that's kind of about it when I learn about it. In My school. old friend, he, he told me this. He said, uh, we were having this discussion some, similar like this, and he said, do you, and I said, do you, do you believe in a Big Bang or like another higher power? And he was like, I believe God created the Big Bang. And I was like, yes, well, I never that, put those um, together. Some people say that the Bible, like Christianity and like the Bible, do not say that the Big Bang isn't true. And right. that it's still possible for the Big Bang. I was just thinking about this the other day. And, like, and the so first possible. verse, the it first also, verse is just. And uh, there was, what, what was and there was light. Yeah, no, the I first created yeah, the heavens first and the earth. That was it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And, and that's very broad. <laughs> if yeah, time, if he, if time's always been there, but human has found new ways to measure it, and that on uh, and how ten thousand years is like ten days, it makes you think. Well, they said the Big Bang happened like that. What if mm-hmm. the conception, like our 10 days, was there? Longer? It can be stretched out or it can be compressed. Right. It, that's kind of what I think about. Though so, I'm not going to say any, like, mm-hmm. not just, I'm trying to, when I think about that, I think on both sides. I'm like, there's, two, but, there's yeah, a, but, yeah. I've always thought, even with, like, when you think of getting a little, Pull in a little bit of politics here. I feel like everyone has always said you're either left or right. What if you were in the middle and you just, you, to think, look with your right eye and look with your left. What if you were looking with both? Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm conservative on some things. And I'm, or, uh, liberal no, we're not talking about the game theory anymore. <laughs> it, well, okay, it kind of all ties in. It ties in. We've yeah. talked about it for a while. This is long, man. Yeah, because it's a deep, it's a deep rabbit hole. It's, it's a yeah. It is deep. It's a lot of short conversation. Let me tell you, there's a lot to be discussed within. <laughs> yeah, this is not like up. Oh, yep, yeah, game theory. What about it? That's it. All right. Goodbye. Um, but I, so, I, I, I didn't like biology because I didn't understand it. Mm-hmm. Right. I didn't understand how plants reproduced because it didn't make sense. Because I was like, what do you mean? How does it do its thing? Now. Like. Yeah, like how does it like how does it do its thing? It doesn't make sense. Like it doesn't make sense. I don't know how it does. I've always understood biology. Biology always seems so seemed a lot simpler to me. Like you look at the digestive really? system. Okay, that that cookie that I the cookie I just ate, I chewed on it. I swallowed it and went through my stomach and went to this intestine and that intestine and it's right. The, but all I'm saying is like the, the energy, like how did you get that energy from A to B? And I never understood that. And I was like, you know what, F, F biology. I'm screw it. I'm done with it. I'm done. I'm never gonna learn it. I don't care about I it. I don't care like, how frogs reproduce. <laughs> it's not that I, I care about like how frogs reproduce, but like for me, it's like I like biology because I can see how this affects this. I can see how oh, plants are both female and male. And that was weird to think about when I learned parts, that. Using those two different parts, they make this. 
because of this and this. For me, it was very, it was so easy to grasp because it was just facts. It was like, you know, unlike some other theories and this whole like, you know, some other, some other stuff. I'll know? say this. Um, the, my, the only reason, like, I understand that the female body, the, not the body, the, the body of the plant, you know what I mean? I understand <laughs> that, that, like, I know, all right, that makes sense. You put the two plants together yeah, and they, yeah, they do their thing. But, um, the, it was just the molecular, not the molecular, the, the, the cells, the cells, I don't understand. Because I understand <laughs> atoms. I understand atoms, you know, how you break them. Oh, yeah. That's true. Ah. All right. She's left quick. Like I, and that's why I became more of a mechanical engineer because I could see the things move. Mm -hmm. um, and now it. I'm an aerospace engineer. And I've, I've, when it came to chemistry in eighth grade, that was, I got an easy hundred on that. Like everyone else was saying it was so hard. It was like, but the thing is, chemistry don't even atoms. get me started. There's, um, there's only a certain amount of neutrons mm -hmm. in that, and just taking away one neutron changes your atom. And right. I did that quite easily. Like you have on, you have all these protons. You put in neutrons and protons together, and you take away one proton and add another neutron. You're getting a completely different. Yeah, you're getting, Yeah, this is different you're stuff. Technically, like atoms. technically, there are atoms in between anything, so you're never actually touching anything. But then again, you're touching everything all at once because the atoms are touching you and touching everything else. I use that yep. so many times. Mom's like, "Don't touch the food," and I'm like, "What do you mean?" I'm, I'm not, not touching, touching it. it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna. Um, Am I actually chewing it? This, this um, when you break a cookie or you rip the paper, am I actually ripping it, or is the atoms ripping the? Paper? Oh, the, the atoms, man. They're all just rapidly. Exactly. Doing the thing. Was uh, it me that ripped the paper or the atoms? The atoms, man, I'm telling you. Um, and then, okay, here's, and then I came back them. into biology. When Elon proposed Mars, and I was like, dude, that's a great idea. And I was like, oh, wait, I know nothing about like our, my own planet because I didn't care. Now I need to learn all of this. Like, how the atmosphere, that's, we're learning that. But I need to learn how atmosphere works because I need to know that for rockets. Rockets need to go up. And All if right, I build say... a rock, it don't work. All right, mm. I'm going to say this safely, that all three of us are at the same school. So... <laughs> uh, safely, yeah. I will you all agree. What do you mean? Agree. Yeah. Do you mean? I'm, in, um, I'm in Russia. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I, go to school, I go to school with Tom Holland. Excuse me. <laughs> it's Italy. It's Italy. <laughs> and, yeah, I live on an island off of the coast. I think it's near but you know, I'm not sure. I just I've never really <laughs> tried to look at the map. I'm on the moon. <laughs> I'm on Mars already, Lamos. <laughs> okay, my only thing is I really wish we could move to Mars, but I do not think it's gonna be possible during our lifetime. Hold on, let's keep that for the next show. All right, all right. We've been talking for a long time. Mars thing later. Let's see you guys. Yeah, Mars oh, is a great discussion. Today, today is April. Gosh, April man. April fourth. April fourth. Holy April 4th. cow! Is it April fourth? Twelve eleven p.m. Twelve eleven. Yeah. Twelve eleven, baby. Yeah. All right. Wait, it's Tiffany. giving twelve twelve. All right. <laughs> huh? Huh? Well, this was a, this was a good Sorry. Good, it was great. Tiffany, do you want to do the, uh, the outro? posting plans? The outro? Oh, yeah. The, uh, oh, okay. So yeah. our last topic that we're going to talk about. Um, no, yeah, no, no. We're going to do the outro, right? <laughs> yeah, the, the she's last doing posting talk. plans. Posting plans. Posting plans. Yeah, posting plans. Okay. So, yeah. okay. So, our plan is during COVID, with all this COVID-19 stuff across the world, um, that we're kind of stuck in our house, houses for the next month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about next month. And Hopefully. so during that time, on uh, we'll post on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And except 
this one. I'm guessing this one's me, the one exception. Who knows? It'll come yeah, up this, when it comes this, out. Yeah. This, this week's a little weird. We're just starting. Yeah. It's a, it's a fresh. So so next, we're going to. Our next video should be on Monday. Yeah. Our next post Episode. should be Monday, which would be April 6th. 6th. Yeah, April 6th. Yeah. So right. that's just this schedule is just during the whole COVID 19 and the virus stuff. Right. This is going to alter when everything's back up to normal. Uh, yeah. A big thank you to our viewers. Wow. We, I'll be honest, we were kind of expecting uh, not, not, not 78 for our first. Yeah, I, was one. I gotta say, you thank know, you, thank you. I was expecting like maybe less than twenty. Just thinking, thinking like our family <laughs> and friends probably gonna be the only one seeing it. Right. Yeah. Uh, leave comments below. Tell us, you know, what are we doing right? What are we doing wrong? What, what do you want to hear us talk about? Yeah. Drop a like if you think we deserve it. Wink, wink. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll see you in the next one, right? Oh yeah. All right, we'll be back oh, Monday. Yeah, please comment, like comment. Um, yep. Yeah. Please. We love. I love reading love comments personally. And, and us. Um, the part tell us about us. Tell us about you. Tell us about you. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about Answer you. Those yeah. questions. We need yeah. to know more about our viewers. We love you guys. So that's yeah. seventy-eight people. We love you. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you in awesome. the next one. See ya. Ciao. Ciao.